Hello there, and welcome back to a blind LP of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem on the Nintendo GameCube. This is part 16, and in this part we're going to be playing around as Michael in uh, the tomb or something. In the last part, um, what happened? We got an enchanted Gladius, Gladius, whatever. Um... Uh, that doesn't scare me anymore. I mean, the pitch is creepy. What happened? I mean, there's loads of zombies. I've got machine guns. It's been pretty fun. Right. Okay, let's have some hot chocolate. Right, I took away that little pillow thing, didn't I? Right, let's go down. It's literally been, like, a minute since I last started. I know. Then I ended the part. Anyway, get down there. Right, what's in here, then? Oh, no, buddy. Those things. Oh, I say hot chocolate, but it's more like cold chocolate now. This is... Is this different? It's all kind of caved in, hasn't it? Yeah, it's all caved in. We're just, like, going deeper and deeper down there. Reminds me of Silent Hill 2 when you, like, as James and you... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This is the last thing, isn't it? Detail. A shrine fashioned from... From this interred human remains stands at a far end of the room resting in the arms of bone trestle is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings michael has required the bind spell scroll we have just discovered the bind spells right creature protect right okay so let's just see what that is then check a note is scribbled on this scroll. It reads, This magic enables the caster to bind a creature with magic, forcing it to ally with them. This spell requires Bankarok. Oh! Oh! That's cool. I like that. So we can get, like, we can make uh, an enemy our friend. Right. Oh, hello. Right, obviously I need to cast that. Cast the the bind spell. Where's the spell list? I keep going past it all the time. Terrible doing that. Cast. Uh, hold on, what is it again? Uh, Bankarok and Arctak. Right, let's just make it a power of eight, shall we? A power of seven. I keep thinking it's eight. Uh, what was it? Uh, creature. What was it again? Banker Rock, wasn't it? Oh, bugger, I forgot already. <laughs> My memory's terrible. Banker Rock and our attack, it was right. Right. No, yeah, Banker Rock. Banker Rock and our attack. There we go. And then power, power, power. The bind spell, right. Spell list, use that. Cast that. Do we need to... I'll just do that one. What do you mean I don't have enough energy? Bear with me, guys. Just need to run around in a circle. You just stand there. Just stand there. I'll be there in a minute. Hold on. Yo, this guy's run out of... Hey, yeah, he's still going. This champ... Right, champ, we're running. Everyone else will be puffed out by them now, they're, but he isn't. Right, I think that's enough. Spell list. Bind. Cast. That. That. There go. There go. There go. Right, them two are having a bit of a, a bit of a fight. Go on, my son. Punch him in the. Oh. Punch them in the ghoulies. Go on. If these things do have ghoulies. Ooh, nice slap. Go on. Give him one. Smash his face in. Well, this isn't going too well, is it? There we go. He is dead. Oh no, now he's now now he's after me. Alright, so you still have to fight him. But hopefully he's not gonna be too 
too tough. I'll have to quit that first. Hold on. Mix. There we go. Quick clear. Oh, well done, Michael. Right. Did it just, like, beep at me because I ran out of bullets? Okay. Just take care of him real quick. Right, what's this over here? What's that? Is that a bag of drugs? Oh, right, sorry, a block of explosives. Look like a bag of cocaine, like you see, you know, like in Scarface. Was a, bit a block of explosives, probably le a leftover from the war. Michael's acquired plastic explosives. I know what to do with them. That's not what I expected to do with them. I thought I had to blow the door up to get there. Unless the door's come back now. Or maybe, just just maybe, I need to use a reveal spell here, actually, come to think about it. Right, spell list. Reveal invisible. Where are we? There we go. Cast that. And we'll do red. Will that work? Now the wall's bleeding, though. But that... Maybe I use the fire axe, then. Just, like, smash it with the fire axe. No. Hmm. Alright, we'll just... We'll just use all the reveal spells, then. We'll do green next. See if that works. No. Uh, I don't think... I don't think blue is going to work. Nope. Right, well, how do I get through here, then? And panel caps in this room, especially empty back compared to the other ones in the room. What am I supposed to do here, then? I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Do I use that? No. We'll check it anyway. A, a formed lump of C4 plus explosive. The detonator simply reads needs simply needs to be added, and the charge will explode at present time of three minutes. I need to find a detonator. Um. Right. I don't know how to get through that door. Because going through there leads me to that place that I need to go. Right, so let's just check the map real quick. Yeah, see? It goes... Through that wall. And that leads me to the place I need to go. I think, right? Hmm. Have I missed a ream or something? I must have done something wrong. I must have missed the detonator somewhere. Where are my detonators? Give them to me. But they have the detonators. Sorry, I'm going to be quoting Die Hard. Watch that on Christmas Eve. It's the best Christmas movie ever is Die Hard. Whatever people say. What about here? Can I go through here? Right. Must have missed something here. Have I missed something? No, no, no. Fine, you might. Mm -mm. Right. Ah, ah. Sorry, I'm stretching my leg and it hurts. Um. Right, I think what I'm going to do, just just so I don't wander around aimlessly here, because this is what I'm going to have to do for the next, like, 5, 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes me to find what I need to do. I'm going to look around, do stuff, but I'll do that off camera, so not to bore you with that, because I feel like when I was editing the other parts, I, I kind of were really boring just wandering around and just not really really talking much just getting frustrated because I'm I'm a terrible player at these games oh, this is the this is the pillar room isn't it hmm wait I mean not the pillar not the pillar room maybe the room where you got the essence at the beginning of the game isn't it well hold on if you touch at the beginning of the game, I'm sorry, but before I do a jump, if you at the beginning of the game, if you picked up the red one, is the god that Pius talks to is red, like the red god? <laughs> and if you pick up the blue one, the god then will be blue, which is what Ulioth. 
So I picked up the green ones with the evil gods green in this playthrough. Is that what the symbol means on the save one? I assume then, if you play the you have to play the game one, two... You have to play the game three times to get the true ending, because you've got to play one, two god. Is that... Hmm. I feel like that might be actually what happens. Man, Michael's a right hunk, isn't he? Look at him. Beautiful Michael. Right hunk. Look at him there. Right, anyway, let's... Let's stop talking about um, Michael's pectoral muscles there and just uh, carry on. I'll do a jump cut. And I'll uh, see you once I've figured something out. So, in a bit. One, two, five. Right, I've done a five one. I'll do a seven one. And see if that works. Because I only did a three one. Oh, that worked. Okay. Not really much of a jump cut there. I did, um, obviously when I did the reveal, I did a 3, and then I did a 5, then I did a 7, and the 7 one worked. I should have done that, instead of the colours, to be perfectly honest. So well, I wasn't thinking straight there. Oh, well. Not to worry. Got there in the end. Not much of a jump cut, anyway. Oh, hello, you. Hello. What's this? Detonator caps for the C4 plastic explosive. Handle with care. Michael has found some detonator caps. Okay. Yeah, I know. You've already said, mate. And they say about a dead person on the floor. Nope. Right. Let's cast a shield to get past that thing. That way, and then we might as well just do. I'll do purple. I like the purple colour. Right, there we go. My little spinning minions of light. Let's go. Meow. 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 I don't know why I'm making a sound effect of that. Zero point of doing that. Right. So I've got to destroy this. Will it do it automatically? Oh, it's that thing again. Go away. Right, did I read the detonator thing? This, these electric detonator caps will transform a package of otherwise safe C4 ex plastic explosive into a primed bomb. They have a built-in timer set for a maximum of three minutes. Oh, wonderful. So you've got a, a self-destruct sequence in this game then, have we? Nice. Right, okay. First things first, let's get rid of those things that are floating around those these things here go away go away go away you go away rude there you go lovely jubbly right um right i can't pull that thing so i don't think it's going to trap me so i need to replace the thing here don't i for centuries evil has been channeled through this pit countless souls sacrificed to the darkness Someone must end this madness. A plum, a bo plum, a plum, a plum is placed here, apparently. A bomb, a bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Right. I don't know what to do then, then. We, uh, mix that and that. Michael has assembled a C4 bomb. Then we use it. Even with all the explosive, there is probably not enough to bring the whole, down the whole the, down the city. There must be some way of making it more powerful and increasing its damage potential. Do I enchant it? Well, I'll give it a go. Uh, I'll do that. That. There we go. Did think that would work. There we go. Now we use that. In Mike's professional opinion, this is the right area to place the bomb, but it would be do much more damage if it was closer to the pit. Right. Got to do it right in the middle then. Mike has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost an answer, a deep low rumbling begins to ver ver reverberate through the dungeon. Mike has three minutes to escape the forbid forbidden city and get to safety. What the f Bloody hell, do I get out then? Oh no! Oh dear. Uh, how do I get out then? 
Where's the exit? I don't know where the exit is. Oh. Oh no. Oh, of course. Right. Hopefully it'll tell me. That's no, that way's blocked off. Just this way. Um. Uh, this door then. Um. I think. But I'll go for it. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, hold on. Is it through here? No, it's a dead end. I'm going insane here. Let me just quickly cast a spell. I recover spell there. We'll do, do a, a five point. There we go. Just get a little bit of uh, sanity back so I can hear the cool music as well. I guess it's just it's just a single path. There's no maze. Oh no! Brilliant. Back to going and completely party. Well, this is cool. I'm loving this. Yes, I know. Two minutes. Don't have to tell me. The numbers are on top of the screen, love. Um. Just checking. There's no other way there. Is that it? There we go. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know, you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. Wait, so we have two of them now. We just need the, the green un. But doesn't Pius have the green un? Right? Right? I got that right. Okie dokie, right, so I have both of them. Okay. Right, so I gotta go to that room now and dabble with that light thing. Just gonna do that real quick then. So I think Pius and Pius have the green one, that's why he has it or something. Oh whoops. Right, didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't think there was gonna be monsters in there. I should have guessed actually. I should have known, sorry. Right, let's just um, do a recover spell real quick. Get a bit of sanity back. There we go. Because I was going a little bit insane there. And let's just get myself a uh, shield up. There we go. You think he says parkour for some reason? He says that. Right. So, let's just get that Gladius fact count. There we go. Oh. Right. It took ages to load that. I was getting worried that the GameCube's going to break again like it has done. Right. Because I did that with Resident Evil Zero. And I haven't replaced the GameCube yet. I've just kept it there. Oh, hold on. So when you... 
when you got the shield up, the sanity effects don't actually hurt you. They hurt the shield, and then it hurts them. Huh. Neat. Right, so through here. Need to work this out now. That's not doing anything, that one. This one first, maybe? Here we go. What's that on the wall there? Ah, that's done that one. There's one over here. Right, no, that one first. I know what I need to do. I need to get it on that, on that, like, thing on the floor there. It's pretty obvious, this. Right, come on. Come on. Oh, this is so awkward, though. There we go. Oh. Oh, what's that done? Oh, it's opened a hole in the wall. Oh, oh that's not a wall. That's a floor. <sighs> Can't think today. Right, so that's done that, then. So I guess another chap. Oh! Who could be at the door this time? Oh, some. What? Who leaves me a packet? What? Weird. All right, that's that's creepy. That detail. A package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the door. I'll pick that up then. Alex has found a brown paper parcel. Ooh, what's this then? A parcel wrapped in plain brown paper. It is not addressed to anyone and appears to have been wrapped in a hurry. There might be something inside. Should Alex open it? I think so. Alex has acquired the essence of Ulioff. Alex has acquired an enchanted gladius. Oh, that thing from before. Oh, dog, can I equip this now? I can. Oh, so I'm the defender of light then, am I? This gladius carries a powerful enchanted guardian of light. Cool. All right. So, so this is con. This, so this thing is always powered to the the red thing then. It's always enchanted with the enchant spell to red, which is cool. Right, let's just kill all these then. Lad, don't you have to do it fancy. Just, just, just a quick stab will do. Oh, gotta be here forever. Right, there we go. Is he gonna go away? Is he gonna... Oh, there we go. Right. So... So those effigies... Get, why have you missed the effigies? Obviously you need this for, like, the final boss or something. But I assume... Or, or for a puzzle to stick into something. But I assume it's a weapon we get to use. Or is it just, like, a power-up thing, you know? Like, if you get those three, you get, like, a super weapon at the end of the game, like the rocket launcher or something. In Resident Evil, you know. I don't know. I'm kind of worried that if I go down there, with the lid removed, some kind of well-like entranceway is revealed. The ladder leads down into the murky darkness. Was this Edward Edward's route into the Guardian City? Should Alex count down the ladder? No. I feel like that's the last area in the game. I got a funny feeling we've got to the end of the game here, and that's down there is like the last, or last part, the last area of the game. So I'm going to do a save here and call that part, what part? 16. So I'll save over this one. Michael, Michael Edwards, yeah. Alright, save that. So, so what's dogs barking outside? Well, that gave me a bit of a fright. Well, anyway, that was part 16. I think it was part 16. Pretty sure it was. Of uh, my blind LP of Eternal Darkness. I feel like I'm getting to the end of the game. You know when you play enough of these horror games, you just get this feeling like... That dog is very loud out there. Shush. Uh, you know, you get feeling of, you know, when things are going to happen. Like, I don't think it's like... The, like, I think we've got, like, another part to do. A couple of parts to do. But if you know what I mean. Anyway, take care. I hope you enjoyed the episode and the series so far. Take care. Have a lovely day. And bye for now.